this is down the wormhole. Fish, plants, pets, your health. <laughs> let's see what I was up to today. Well, I finally decided let's get the grow out tank running. So we use some vinegar and a razor blade to give this tank a good old cleaning. I use this for my first batch of bettas that I had just as a grow out tank for them as well. And since then, it's been sitting underneath the cockatiel cage. So I didn't even know what all was on there, but it got a really good clean. After that, I was left to my own devices to fill this thing. And this is what I came up with. <laughs> Probably not the best idea, but it sure worked. The whole fish room is reachable with this hose <laughs> and I really do like having it. It's come in handy very often for when I need to fill up tanks. My snails don't seem to mind whatever's going on around them either. So while that was filling, I decided I finally better get this uh, light changed out. So this was my old one. An Aquion probably came from a starter kit. I don't even know. I didn't buy it. I'm not much for getting things new. So this is kind of fun, getting to try out something new. I do enjoy that it's low on energy. And also the scale on the light spectrum is actually quite high. So I'm hoping <laughs> that I can get a better, well, a higher grade plant in here, maybe some sword plants. Cause man, can you sure grow the uh, Hornsworth with that aqua grow light? We just stole that off of a garage sale find that we bought. Nobody seems to be minding it in the tank. Right now I just have a variety of low plants, low light plants like my Nubias here. A little bit of java moss that's made it throughout the time. <laughs> my plecos are all doing awesome in here. And my cryptocorn. So I'm hoping I can get some babies going <laughs> and make this tank a little bit more of a planted tank. Let's see what happens. Well there we go. <laughs> I've got to trim some of the hornworth off the top and I think this is going to be a good light for this tank. I do enjoy how the white clouds swim around in here. It is just a bow front. I don't have anything really planned going on in here other than just enjoying my inhabitants. I originally set out to manage to breed these white clouds in the tank and I did manage to. I got two babies, nothing groundbreaking, but I did pull it off. So in the end, this rack is turning out really good, just loving it. Um, I have the Omikas in here ready to ship and after these guys are gone, I will probably put some more Omikas in here ready for my local pet store. I do hope you want some because I'd like to get these guys definitely out and into the hobby a little bit more. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and tag along and don't forget to leave a little comment down below to make sure you get entered into the fish contest for the t-shirts. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys all next time.